at the end of the 12 months at the end of the 12 months he was walking about the royal palace of babylon so pretty much after a year it happened which is interesting because after a year you may forget your dreams and many things and he may have taken it after a couple months like oh nothing's gonna happen whatever perhaps he started doing righteousness and that's why it took a year to happen but because of what we're about to read it kind of seems like he was uh doing what he always did like nothing like nothing was going to happen kind of even forgot about it and all of a sudden happened that's one of the reasons why it is very important that we congregate and i use the word congregate even though right now we're not physically congregating but virtually we are spiritually we are so my point is that it is very important to continue uh, studying scriptures so that we may not forget the promises uh, what, what we must do the will of Yahweh and also to help others our brethren so that's why I meant congregating because we also must keep in contact one way or another with those who believe as we do so all this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar at the end of the 12 months he was walking about the royal palace of Babylon the king spoke saying and this is where everything went down like I said he kind of, well seems like he forgot and not only did he forget he continued acting the same way and even worse because he opened his mouth to say something that he never should have said. Because like I said, words are very important. That's why Daniel was so wise that when he was about to give that negative interpretation to the king, he made an introduction to pretty much appease the king so that the king wouldn't kill him. And then he gave an advice, hoping that the king would listen and not do things like this so the king spoke is not this great babylon that i have built for royal listen that i have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty he used three times a word referring to himself i my and then my <laughs> so three times like the three strikes three times like Samael, Lucifer and Azazel pretty much showing that he's a representation of the reason why those three angels fell from the honor that Yahweh have given them and also like the fact that Yahweh the one whom he was rejecting and disrespecting he is the one who was, who is, and who will be. So since Yahweh is the one who was, who is, and who will be, and Nebuchadnezzar was disrespecting him by worshipping pretty much Samael, Lucifer, and Azazel, then he said, I, my, and my. So is not this great Babylon? And it's interesting when we read that through the meaning of the name Babylon. Is not this great confusion that I have built for a royal dwelling, a royal dwelling that men built for the fallen angels, doctrines of demons and more, that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty, not for the honor of the majesty of Yahweh, which would be what the King David would say, even if he was the one who built it. And even if the king was the one who built it, you know, it was their subjects. It may have been his will, his power and his riches that made it possible. So there are many things that could be said there. But my point is that the king in Israel, the true king, would recognize the majesty of Yahweh. And that would be the reason why Yahweh would place his own majesty on the king as written in Isaiah 42. Yahweh places his own majesty on his king, the one that he chooses. As long as the king continues to send that majesty up to whom it belongs. So that's why Yahweh separated the first and second coming in two. 
so that they are both connected and they both give honor to the Most High, Yahweh. So, the king must recognize that Yahweh is the creator who gives him all the majesty and the power for all the people to be his subjects, pretty much. But when that king cuts that connection with the Most High by saying that he is the Most High and that he is the one who built everything and that he is the one with the power to continue having those people as subjects and all of that, that is the moment where everything comes down. So, he said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? 